Good morning. Good morning, uh, BFMC Nation. Um, and I don't know about you, I, I couldn't sleep last night. I just couldn't sleep. And I woke up this morning and there was a deer out in our yard and there's just this disconnect because on one hand there's this deer and it's running and it's beautiful and on the other hand just a few miles from here where I grew up last night there were crazy protests that started off with wonderful people with sincere hearts and then cars are tipped upside down and you know I keep seeing this video of George Floyd and I, I can't even watch it my stomach flips on me you, you probably can relate to this and you just see the brokenness of our world and the anger and the racism and you just thinking aren't we over this and obviously we're not I, I can't even make it through that video I just can't make it through that video and I thought before we go into our worship service this morning I just want to take a minute and here's a scripture that was on my mind about 4 a.m. this morning it said if my people 2nd Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and I will heal their land. We need the Lord to do a healing in our land and in our hearts and, and in our city and in our country. Do you know that um, George Floyd, I saw an interview with his girlfriend, his fiance, and he was a believer in Jesus. He was a follower. Franklin Graham said that he knew that George Floyd was a follower of Jesus. So we've lost a Christian brother in this whole sad, broken world. And we need to turn from our wicked ways so that Jesus can heal our land. I just thought before we had our worship this service this morning, we just ought to take a moment and pray. And so let's just pray. I'm here at my house, and Lord, um, you're at your house. So Lord, we just ask that you would, you would heal our world from our wicked ways. You would heal us from racism. You would heal us from violence. Lord, that you would protect our country, that you would protect us. And Lord, we pray this, uh, that you would heal our land in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, the one who changes our hearts. Amen. This is so mixed up. It's so crazy. Do you know we have police officers in our church, and I know them. They love God, and they love people. This whole thing is so messed up. And then the video we saw was so real and so messed up and so filled with racism and hate. Um, the very DNA, by the way, of the Free Methodist Church, which we're a part of, it's part of who we are, is social justice, sharing the gospel, and yet part of the reason we're named Free Methodist is because we stood up for freedom in the 1860s in such a way that the Methodist Church kicked us out because we wouldn't shut up, we wouldn't be quiet because we knew that God sees each of us in his sight with value and dignity and love. So... Um, I just wanted to start this morning spending a moment with you responding to what's been going on. We're going to get ready to go into worship now, but be praying for our country. Be praying that God would change all of us from our wicked ways. He would change me from my wicked ways. And that our eyes would be open and that he would heal our land. Amen. 